Hello again guys and welcome back to my channel and today's vlog we are here at Green Valley Ski Area at Ritasco in Alberta, Canada. If you're new to my channel, I am Isai Dale and here on my channel, I upload travel vlogs every Tuesdays and makeup tutorials every Thursdays. So if you like my content, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click that notification bell to keep you updated on my latest video. So for today's vlog, guys, we are here learning how to ski at Green Valley Ski Area and I hope you enjoy watching. The Green Valley Ski Area is run by the Wetaskiwin Ski Club. It is a non-profit society with the goal of providing affordable and easily accessible recreation. In order to keep prices low, most of the work that is done at the Green Ski Hill is done by volunteers. They have a tow rope to get the snowboarders up and in the terrain park quickly. The main tea bar goes to the top of the hill and has many runs coming down from the top. There is a rental equipment available, including skis, snowboards, snowblades, and helmets. The hill has a north face and is 10 kilometers east of Itaskuin on Highway 13, or 20 kilometers west of the junction at Highway 21 and Highway 13 west of Camrose. The ski area is in the heart of Green Valley, at the south end of Coal Lake. When you drop down into the valley on Highway 13, Turn south Range Road 230 or right after the bridge coming from Bitaskuin and go to the first stop sign like 1 km turn west following the old highway. Just before the highway starts up the valley, turn left. Looking to the south, you will be able to see the lifts and the runs of the ski hill. Follow this windy road across the railway tracks across another bridge and the hill is the first left. You are welcome to join Every Friday evenings from 6.30 to 9.30 and Saturday and Sunday from 11 to 4.30 in the afternoon. There are also special events such as the New Year's Eve Deep Freeze and Family Day. If you are a beginner like us, you should plan to take a lesson. If you have never been on a snow before or have only given it a try once or twice, the single best advice is to take a lesson from a professional. Every ski area offers all sorts of group or private lesson packages to fit your schedule. Getting instruction from a professional will not only teach you how to ski or snowboard properly and quickly, but will also familiarize you with the ski or snowboard equipment. Different types of ski lifts and you will be using and where to or where not to be skiing or boarding on the hill. Phone or go online and get information in advance of your arrival to book a lesson or find out lesson times. The second thing is you should know the Alpine Responsibility Code. Because of the individual nature of the sport and the environment of all ski areas being on snow is both challenging and rewarding to each and every participant. However, it also means that participants outside of lesson times cannot be supervised by resort staff. As such, it is not recommended that children under 12 years of age ski or snowboard unaccompanied. Children when not in a lesson are responsible for their choice of where to ski or board and their individual behavior. All participants must obey the Alpine Responsibility Code while on the hill. The Alpine Responsibility Code is a set of 10 ski and snowboarding rules and it is important that you familiarize yourself with this code. Before you get on the road, you should check the weather. Winter in Alberta can be the most beautiful time of the year, but the weather can rapidly change. As such, always check the weather and temperature forecast for both the ski area and your roads to the hill. Check the road reports. Winter driving means always being prepared for cold, snowy, or icy conditions and varying road conditions. Always take a winter emergency road kit with you on your journey and make sure someone else knows what your travel plans are. While winter tires are not legislated in Alberta, good winter or all-weather tires are recommended when traveling on many winter or mountain roads. And of course, have a checklist for your equipment. Nothing is worse than arriving and realizing you have forgotten something. Skis, boots, poles, helmet, proper ski wear, and etc. should all be on your list and check as you load them for the trip. Renting equipment is the best and most economical way to introduce you and your family to the sport. 
Most key areas offer a variety of rental options at their rental shops. Affordable equipment packages are available for everyone. If you plan to ski on a regular basis, purchasing your own equipment is a great investment. If you plan to ski or board on a regular basis at the same ski area, then a season pass will be the best possible deal. Many ski areas also offer special deals such as discount cards or online pre-purchase day ticket that provide far better value than purchasing from the ticket window. Families are very important to the ski industry and almost all resorts have put together very affordable packages for the family. The family season lift passes and family day passes all provide the best price for a family whether you are just starting out or ski and board regularly. Remember, skiing and snowboarding are one of the few winter sports you can actually participate together as a family. It is fantastic family fun. What guidelines will need to be followed? All directives from AHS, Government of Alberta, and Government of Canada must be adhered to. First, mask. A mask or covering will be required inside the rental shop and chalet. Mask or face coverings should also be required outside where physical distancing may not be possible, such as leaf lines on leaves and in lessons. And please obey all mandatory signage. All leaf ticket purchases must be made online. Please refer to the online leaf pass bookings or tab on the top of the page. And upon arrival, please proceed to the outside ticket wicket on the east side of the building to receive your pre-purchased daily lift pass. Rentals continue to be available. Entry to the south door of the rental shop only, and rental forms will be accessible outside the north door. And for personal belongings, guests are encouraged to store their personal belongings in their vehicles as storage is not available indoors. Guests not skiing or snowboarding are encouraged to view from the outdoor deck. Please allow for social distancing of 2 meters unless in the same household. The cafeteria is also open for takeaway purchases only. No food consumption is allowed at this time indoors. Please obey signage for maximum occupancy. And of course, if you need a water break, washrooms are available through the chalet entrance door. Please obey signage for maximum occupancy in the building. The leaf usage has a maximum person of only one. In the tea bar, unless both are from the same household, and masks are mandatory in the leaf line and on the tea bar. And for the spot leaf and tow rope, all guests riding in the tow ropes must be at least 2 meters apart. And of course, mask is mandatory in the leaf line and on the tow ropes. Yes guys, it was a beautiful day indeed. The sun is up and we have a very beautiful weather. The kids totally enjoyed skiing and snowboarding. And yes, we will definitely come back here every winter for the kids to enjoy. And yes, if you want to come visit here, it is very accessible and the rentals are very affordable too as well. So yes, if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click that notification bell to keep you updated. I hope you enjoyed watching and you find this vlog informative. And thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you on my next vlog. And always remember, take care and be safe.